In this video, we'll talk about what stops you from waking up early. There are so many things that keep you from waking up on time. One of the main things that stops you would be yourself. All the things you do to avoid sleeping at the hour or distract your bored mind from dozing off keep you up at night and ruin your sleep. Refusal to wake up because you have nothing to do in the morning, no one to see, or no plans can also keep you lounging in bed for a few more hours. Anything that holds down your lifestyle is naturally no one else's fault but yours. Before you continue watching, take some time to compare your routine in the morning and your routine at night. If you concentrate hard enough, you'll realize that the morning routine is more automatic and basic than your nightly routines. All the fun, exciting things happen either in the afternoon or closer to the evening rather than first thing in the morning. So, here's a question to consider. What would your day look like if your morning was more exciting? Unshakable habits. Some habits can be so irritating, they simply refuse to leave you alone. The only issue with these habits may be that they interrupt your sleep and mornings. Now, most habits, especially when you reach an independent age ranging over 20 years, have firmly become fixated into your personality. Anything you develop after this age will also be hard to shake off. Some habits are positive, mind you. Not everything has to be a bad aspect of your personality. If you enjoy keeping your surroundings clean and organized, then good for you, since that's a wonderful characteristic of yours. Unfortunately, the focus here wouldn't be your positive characteristics, but those negative ones that interfere with routine. When you're going to bed, do you immediately remember your devices, maybe in particular your phone? Do you have the need to check your phone before you sleep? This is an extremely common habit people have. But it isn't just phones that create this habit. It could honestly be anything. When you're by yourself, you have nothing to do and your mind starts to wind down. You suddenly remember a million and one things you want to do and feel the sudden urge to do them. This habit of yours and most people around you is the most common interference that prevents you from getting the right amount of sleep. Just as it's important to have a routine in the morning, you should also have a balanced routine at night. When you know it's time to go to bed, wrap up everything at least half an hour beforehand. Turn off all the lights, electronics, lock the doors, shut the windows, put the rest of the house to sleep before you do so, so that there's nothing left to do. Keep your devices and distractions out of the room you sleep in. This way you can rest peacefully knowing that the day has been successfully wrapped up. Mind your eating and drinking habits close to bedtime as well. For instance, avoid caffeinated items before heading to bed. If you must... Opt for something relaxing like chamomile tea instead. Don't work out too late in your day or you'll have an adrenaline surge before bedtime. Experts recommend keeping a slightly cooler temperature for an optimal sleep experience and keep the lighting in your room dim enough simply for sleeping and nothing else. Sleep deprivation. You may have the routine, the alarm clock, and the determination to wake up early, but what if you're not getting enough sleep? Some people don't have normal working cycles. They could be working two jobs at once, or maybe they're a heavy traveler. For all of these people, their routine looks a little different, and that means their sleep patterns are different as well. They may not be the healthiest lifestyles, but there's always a way to make things better. Sleep deprivation is an issue that develops over time. The first few days that you miss out on sleep may not even phase you, but it's after a week or so when you feel the pressure of sleep deprivation. Abnormal routines usually host long hours of staying up and shorter hours of sleep and rest. You're used to sleeping at night and waking up in the morning, but if you resort to night shifts or traveling for a profession, night may not be the right time for you to sleep. So routines have to be altered, keeping in mind that you need at least eight hours of consecutive sleep. This could mean that afternoons become your nights or even your mornings. Unfortunately for those whose schedules don't work out for nights or mornings, there isn't much you can do for early mornings other than look for other options that allow you to have the night for yourselves. For those that don't have such requirements, nothing is holding you back from conquering the nights besides yourself. 8 to 10 hours is what you need, and if you're not getting this rest consecutively, you're going to suffer. 
You can't try cutting corners, getting three hours in the afternoon and the other five during the night. That isn't how a proper sleep pattern works. This brings us to the next topic, which is the opposite of sleep deprivation, and that being getting too much sleep. Lethargic lifestyle. Having too much of anything is bad for you. Naturally, staying up too long without rest is going to make you tired and lazy. Your head will feel light and your mind fuzzy since it's been working for far too long. But when you decide to let out your inner lethargic lion sleep for 18 hours a day, you'll start feeling different side effects. Instead of a light, fuzzy head, you'll have a heavy, throbbing head, pulsating because it's been out of work for, once again, far too long. After sleeping for too long, you'll always be tired, mind heavy from all the silent hours it rested, and now suddenly it has to get back to work. It's just like coming back to work after a long two-week vacation. Though you know the break was going to end, the longer you postpone it, the more reluctant you are to go back. Your mind is the same. It's been sleeping for so long, a few more hours wouldn't hurt, but the truth is, they will. Eventually, doing nothing and relaxing becomes an addiction, something you can't get enough of and constantly hunt for more. This makes you lazier, more tired, and less willing to perform tasks. What you must realize is that there's always a time when work returns and you have to stop resting. Even though you are getting enough sleep and plenty more, getting up in the morning becomes harder, though you may be using an alarm clock and open curtains. So a minimum of eight hours is good to keep you running for 16 hours. Anything over 10 hours will force you into a hibernation that'll wake you up crankier than any grizzly bear after the winter. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.